Hello. So we are back same Wednesday. And uh, let me explain you what happened exactly. I get hundreds of emails. Maybe not hundred, but anyway, nearly to a hundred, like every day, people trying to fix things. Or uh, people trying to figure it out a problem with the device. Now, with the people trying to figure it out a problem, well, actually, they have knowledge. I always replay them and look, check and ask on our Discord server. Because obviously, I don't have time. And it's not, it's not only about time, it's about I can't figure it out a problem just based on a description. You know, I have to have the board here and check myself. Anyway, I send them to Discord. The people trying to fix things, send me things to things, I can't reply them. You know, there are so many emails. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, can't, I can't really do it. And uh, it's a third category. You know, the, the, the people, they are actually pushing the things, and searching online for the shop address and searching for the owner phone number and they call the owner and... Uh, and the guy, the owner, is like, we are like friends, you know, he can't say no. That's the problem. He's so nice. The guy is so nice, he can't say no. And some jobs, on some point, they arrive here and I have to look on them. Same like today. Today arrive, uh, we have a gaming laptop to fix. So this just arrived today. This one. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you are the guy... Who send it here? I will have a look now. Yeah, we'll try to fix it together. But the idea of the channel is not to advertise a business. Okay, the idea of the channel is you can have some, you know, you can learn some things which I whatever you see here can point you on a, on a certain direction on the right direction I just can only hope but I'm the only one here it's not really time we, we, we don't really have time for our jobs even for like let's say on a normal day, a motherboard job, I can't really spend more than half an hour. If I didn't figure it out in a half an hour, I'll just stop. If I did figure it out in a half an hour, possible to spend up to one hour, but no, n nothing more than one hour. Okay? Let's have a look on this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a... Okay, I'll try to hide the, the name. So, you see, the people already try to fix it somewhere. Job time hardware. Problem. Liquid metal split. No visual. Okay, that's bad. And I did use uh, the liquid metal for the... For the processor and graphic chip, it really you will see the difference. It's good. I can't say it's not good. But if you split the liquid metal over the board, you'll have a big problem. Price quote at twenty pound. Well, Work started. Laptop has been clean. I had paste and pads replaced. Laptop takes a long time to post. And those are no visuals. GPU is faulty. Motherboard is faulty. The board is short. The motherboard is faulty. The board is short. Still working on it. Unable to repair the laptop. The board is faulty. And this end with 20 pounds cost for the customer. You know what's the problem? The problem is if I diagnose something. You can't say the board is faulty. You know, just you know, you are a, you are a guy. Just tell me what 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 is faulty there. The GPU is faulty. How the GPU GPU can be faulty? 
well let's say it's faulty but if I have no picture I can't say the GPU is faulty because it can be anything it can be the chipset can be the super I O, can be anything that can be the processor can be anything there if you don't have the post if you don't have the post that's mean the motherboard didn't pass the the BIOS uh, quick test you know before you see the picture on the screen the BIOS is running a quick uh, check on the board But I can't say nothing wrong till I check. Yeah, let's check together. ROG Republic of Gamers. I do like the the gaming stuff. Especially Diana, Diana has an obsession with the, with the gaming things. Me and Diana are two different, completely two different uh, kind of people. I'm the guy which, I'm the kind of the dodgy guy. Diana is the, the that kind of, like the pro, pro thing, you know, whatever she is doing, she wants to be the, the best. Where is the key? Oh, that's the keyboard. What's this? Okay, let's see. Let's see. So what is this doing? It is coming on? No. Let me plug the charger. The charger is a special charger. Looks like a Sony charger, but smaller. That's the charger, 11.8 amps. You see, that's a nice charger. Okay, let me grab the cable. Plug the charger. The charger is plugged in. You can't see any light. Oh yeah, it is a light. It is a red light here. You can see. We have a red light here. That means the laptop is on. And we have the charging light here. But I can't see the power on light. I can't switch it. Oh yeah, I can switch it off. Now it's off. Now it's on. But yeah, no picture on the screen, nothing. It's just that. Okay. No screws on the back. No screws here, but here we do have some screws. Let's see if we can help the uh, if we can help this guy. Because uh, you know these this, this kind of laptops they are very expensive.
here are no screws so how this is supposed to be open never fixed this model before sliding this bit is moving no it's no screw there must be another trick to open this laptop Oh yeah, plastic clips. The fan is still spinning. Oh, nice hinge. This cable is it's unconnected. I don't know what it is. Can be only one antenna or... But I can see a LED here, maybe... Okay, LEDs. This is the battery. We have a connector there. How do I open this? Okay, I really need some tools. Give me one second. Okay, let's see. So the keyboard, okay, everything is unplugged here. You see, every cable is unplugged. So I don't understand the guy opened the laptop or the people from the repair shop left it this open. I can't see any screws. Yeah, okay. That's water damage. They said liquid metal. Let's see. There, what's that? Uh, it's not water then, you know? No, it's not. So what do we check on this board? How we can fix this? We have no schematics. Let's plug the charger. Now let's check some voltages. That's the power button, yeah. Yeah, I can see heat. I can I can uh, sense heat here. So let's see. Around voltage. Twenty-eight. 
2.5 which is right DDR4 yeah GPU what's this this is CPU probably 0 0.7 and GPU GPU is here 0 0.9 which is right the chipset is hot that means the tank voltage probably is right on the chipset the fans are spinning everything seems to be fine we have a what's that flickering light there How we can fix this? So everything starts from uh, liquid metal on the board. The problem is that the liquid metal goes behind of the chips, yeah? How you take the liquid metal out? <laughs> That's the question. How you take it out? Okay, that's the heat sink. Nice heat sink. For GPU, you have a double heat sink. Nice. Is the Wi Fi? That's the screen. That's the M2 drive. You see, a fold like that, like this one, it's extremely hard to be fixed, to be found. Because you don't know what it is. No one knows. Even the factory, they. they they can't know.
You are second. So, like on this laptop, this can only be fixed probably by luck. When everything is okay, so you check the voltage, the voltage looks fine. You can assume the chips are good, you know, the CPU, the GPU is good. This can be fixed only by luck. So how can I know if the metal thingy goes behind of the chip? Hmm? No, what's here? If this is a liquid metal, it's bad. This is the RAM memory. So what's this? If this is liquid metal, this can give you problems. You know what, let's clean the board. With my petrol, yeah? The petrol can do some uh, magic here. And I told you why. It's because petrol, when it is getting dry, is leaving uh, a oil uh, layer. And the oil is it's a good isolator. This ship is looking bad. But this looks like some liquid damage, not... Wait, what kind of liquid is that? One second. Liquid metal split. Liquid metal split. Yeah, so... Liquid thermal paste, yeah? So what I will do, I will clean it, how I know, yeah? But this doesn't, doesn't look like a liquid, this looks like uh, some water damage, some... Or maybe from the cleaning solution of that people. The RAM memory is on board. So you have onboard RAM memory.
So you know what, let's try and clean it first with petrol, yeah? Where is my toothbrush? Let me go get a toothbrush from somewhere. One second. So if you are watching on this video, expecting to see a magic uh, repair, like see me coming and soldering something and the laptop is working I'm really sorry to disappoint you but on these kind of jobs you'll not see something like that I'm really sorry but it's nothing what I can check, I check the voltage, the voltage seems to be right You see, this is a that bridge when the hardware and software are working together. You can fix hardware, but you don't know what the hardware is doing, and you don't know what the software is doing. But they are doing something together. So on the end of the day, we are just cleaners.
500 degrees on the hot air machine. Let's use some uh, some flux. But keeping in mind, we can have uh, we can have. Uh, liquid metal behind of the CPU and GPU I want to use something else I want to use my special uh, Rosin flux if I can find it Oh yeah, they found it. So what do I hope? I hope I hope the the rosin go behind of the chip. The alcohol get evaporated and the rosin it will uh, isolate each pin. That's what I hope when I'm using this. Remember I told you before in the water damage case this is the best to use Okay, so now let's get the Hot air, 500 degrees. Oh, not petrol. I mix the bottles. Mm.
let me take this out and try from the back and the RAM memory the same thing uh, the VRAM, sorry And now the CPU and graphics from the back. You see how it's bubbling? It's fantastic. And now when it's getting dry, It is, if it, when it's getting dry, every pin will be isolated with... Uh, remember we made some uh, tutorials about soldering and using rosin. And the chipset. That's way too cool now. <sighs> yeah. Give me a second. Bro, I can't believe cockroach inside of the laptop. That's crazy. Huh? <laughs> no, we, sh we should buy a spray, you know? It's. Huh? That's crazy. How can be cockroach inside of the laptop? He just replaced the screen and the cockroach was there, was moving. Sick. Cockroach.
cockroach. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Crazy. Hmm. Okay, let's see this one. We have no heat sink. Yeah, it's too hot. We need heat sink. It's getting hot quickly. Huh? <laughs> Uh, let me find the heat sink. Okay, we have heat sink. Let me plug the charger. Power on. We don't have the BIOS battery. And it's working fine. You can see the picture. Yeah, it probably is resetting because the the heat sink has no screws and the BIOS uh, is no BIOS battery. Let's plug the BIOS battery. What? Christy, I don't know. I don't know. Pixel pull a microscope. I have to like watch. What? Oh, check here. You see the cockroach? Yes! Yes! <laughs> That's sick! Bro, that's crazy. That's that's insane. Okay. That's great. The laptop is full of cockroaches. Oh, that's that's sick. That's so disgusting. You know, I I I hate these creatures. And Christian said they're proteins. Nothing else. Nothing more. <laughs> what you can ask for a Romanian guy, you know? Proteins. Probably he will eat them. Let's plug back the BIOS battery. I did. I don't have the pads. That will be the hardware to fit the every pad here. And. Uh, every pad and uh, we need thermal paste yeah it's not thermal paste let me just use just to, just to be sure it's working i want to feed the hard drive and i want to see the, the because many times when you see laptops come on when, when it's starting loading the windows it's boosting the frequency and bad things happen especially in a case with water damage or liquid damage or uh, like on this case so it's working on the low uh, frequency of the processor and graphics, but when it's boosting the the frequency and the voltage also, it's, it's not working anymore. So that's what I want to use a thermal paste. And see if it's loading the windows. If it's loading the windows, we are saved. If it's loading the windows. But remember, I told you the Rosin it will do the magic. That's the proof. 
Now here, let me find the thermal paste, one second. That's crazy. We have no thermal paste. We have some, some, some uh, we have some uh, rubbish here, but not a proper thermal paste. Usually, we are using uh, Arctic MX4, but because of the lockdown and because the business is not running properly, uh, we have to buy. We are still good, you know. Uh, I seen uh, these. These are like uh, British cockroaches. But I seen. Um, I, I seen somewhere. I don't know movies. The the the, the America cockroaches, which are more uh, terrifying. And I see cockroaches in uh, Italy again. The Italy are the, like same like uh, like America. Some big and and, and they, they are different. They don't look like this. Crazy. Okay, so we have a few screws on. Uh, there, where is the hard drive? The hard drive is here. Let's plug the charger now. We don't have fans. No fan connected. Possible the laptop to shut down if... Uh, if... Uh, it's not seeing the fan. But let's try, let's check. We have picture. Let's see if he's loading the windows. It is. It's. It's on the repair thingy. Could we please wait? I will unplug it. I'll plug it back.
and it's loading, loading, that's a good sign. I see when it's switching to, okay, oh, look, look at the graphics. That's a bad sign. Exactly what I told you, that's why I told you I want to check with Windows. You see the greeny thingy? Okay, it is loading the Windows. Which is a good sign. This can be a RAM issue. It's a RAM memory issue. But that's a good sign, you know. So we know the processor is good. All what we have now, we have a tiny graphic issue. It's not frozen, hopefully it's not frozen. Where is the keyboard? Let me check with the keyboard. Hopefully it's not frozen. No, it's not frozen. It asked me for login. So the processor is fine, yeah? At least we know the processor is fine. We know the chipset is fine. We know the Super I.O. is fine. All what we have, we have a graphic issue. Okay? I'll not take this out. Let's leave the heatsink. Let's try these two memory first and see if it's any change after. That's way to cool down. Exactly what I told you. It's when you have a on this board, everything is good. So actually, the only problem there are some bridges behind of the of the chips or behind of I don't know. The problem you don't know exactly. That's why I use that flux because I know when. Uh, and I, I think that is that video with the soldering, yeah? On that, I think on that video. That video, I use Rosin. I took the chip out, and I left the board to cool down, and after that, we check under the microscope, and every, 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 every pin, yeah? Every pin uh, under the chip was around with flux with rosin the last solution let's go with temperature down to 370 and try to reflow the RAM memory not the RAM memory, the video RAM, sorry Can't really see any other option. We will do like one every time. We will test. Four hundred.
Okay, the chip is moving. The chip is moving, okay. We'll do one of the time, just in case something goes wrong to know what chip we uh, is with the problem. Give me one second. One second. Okay, let's try to let's try and find a pad to cool down the cool down the chip. Yeah. No, no, no way. It's a beautiful day outside, like 15 degrees, nice. Still on. Automatic repair. Same story, let's go to the next one. Can't see.
chip is moving, let's go to the next one. The chip is moving, let's go to the next one. Chip is moving. So we reflow three chips. Charger And we have no picture. Wow. After I reflow three chips. So which one it is? That's why when you hurry up these things, this is not good. If I was doing one at a time, now I knew. I know what which one it is. But now because I reflow three chips, I have no idea which one is. Okay, I can't do it. What's that thingy? What's this white thingy? What's this thing? What do you think is this? What do you think is this? So check here, yeah? What do you think is this? So the solder is hard because it's cooled down, but this is not. What do you think is this? This is liquid metal. 
This is liquid metal. This is liquid metal. Hello. So we are back Monday and I just received the the memory chip for this job. So I ordered probably like two weeks ago, it was like two weeks ago. Okay. So I ordered three chips, so we have the chips here. The chips Comri Bowl. But I'm not sure because it looks like a bad job. Bad rebuilding jobs. Job, let's open and check, yeah? Let's take one out. Because the chip has in the middle uh, that line, the balls has to be bigger. So let's see. I ordered three just to be sure uh, if I need more. You remember the one with the this is the, the one with the liquid damage. My microscope is not working. I don't understand. Every time when Windows is doing updates, it's mess up with my uh, with my source and USB port number and things like that. Okay, let's see now. So we have to solder the chip here. The new chip is here. This is the new chip. And the solder balls. No, the solder balls looks fine. You see, it has that line on the middle. You remember we found liquid metal when we took the chip out. So hopefully that's only the problem. I'll solder the chip back. Let me grab some flux. It's, I don't want to take the, the solder out, yeah? I don't want to clean. I can clean with a wick here. But I don't want it. Because it's possible the balls do not be uh, high enough okay so I'll leave it like that the cheap position has to be like that good well, let's try Let's try and solder this back and hopefully the laptop will be working. Okay. Hopefully. But even if it's another memory chip, we still have the more memory chips here, yeah. Now let's try. I'll show you 400 degrees Celsius. Let's see what we can do. Looks good, yeah? Looks. Only looks good. Hopefully it will work.
this has to be here somewhere, yeah? We really have to figure it out because we don't have a second chance. I mean, we have uh, no point to use it. Okay. I just want to be sure I'm on the notch of the of the solar bolts. Is I can feel it how it's sliding. Oh yeah. Give me one second. Give me one second, we have to check a charger, yeah? And after that we can uh, go forward. The guy has a DJI running charger. And say he's not charging the battery. Okay. Let's see. It should be straightforward. On screen multimeter. And the charger is good, 16.8. Yeah, mate, the charger is good. Yeah. So you have to leave the batteries to see what's going on there. Can be new and faulty, but I have to check. The, the charger has 16 volts on the output, so I have to. But if you say it's a problem, yeah, it will not charge, but I can't check now. Now I have another job there. No, no, because the thing is, I've got three batteries and it ain't charging none of it. That's two or three batteries. Okay, let's have a look quickly. Charging on that. Uh, which is minus, which is plus. Let's try with low current. Low current is not charging. It's not charging on any direction. Nothing. And nothing. We 19 volts on the power supply, so both batteries are dead. Yeah, these are only two pins. Is nothing, uh, nothing special. Yeah. So I should see like a car and like a you know, spinning around the plus and minus should be a short. It's nothing. It's just dead. I 
are not uh, smart batteries, they're just normal batteries and nothing. I believe that both batteries are faulty. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, probably not. I tried to charge my power supply and it's not charging. No. Okay, how about our job? The problem is the board is a big board and has to be heated. Yeah, so I'll take the chip out, I'll heat up the board, and after that, I'll try to resolve it. Yeah. Good. Sorry? I can try, but you have to leave them. Sorry? Yeah, just give to them that guy to, to book them in, yeah? Sorry? Probably tomorrow, Wednesday. No, 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 you can't, no. Okay. Good, so the board is hot. Okay, the board is hot. The chip position, okay. How can I do it? Because it's burning my hand for some reason. All I need is few pins to be soldered and then I can, uh, yeah, I think it's okay now.
Now let's be sure it's soldered. So the chip is moving nicely. Okay. We can say it's soldered, yeah? A common mistake is when you move the board and you have something on the other side, you'll uh, you'll uh, you can that can happen. All the the components from the back is they're moving. So it's quite a tricky job. The board looks bad with so much flux, but I can't clean it. Because if you clean and it's another b b somewhere I don't know under a chip it's a, it's a liquid metal bubble, uh, you know, very possible we can't fix it. Just because we have no idea where is that bu bubble. So the Rosin flux is doing quite a great job in a case like this. <sighs> Let's try. Let's see if it's working. If it's not working, we can try and solder more the uh, the chip. Okay. So we have the board, we have the screen uh, ribbon cable. The hard drive is plugged in, we need a heatsink. If I remember, that's how we tested, yeah? Probably this is the worst fault possible on a laptop. No, thank you. No, no, no. From from one to ten on a scale from one to ten, this is ten plus. <laughs> okay, let's see the charger. Ah, uh, it's not this one. Cable. <coughs> Where is the charging port? Is here. Power. The laptop is coming on.
I have no picture yet. I have no idea, but we have so many jobs in... Uh, Huh. And we have picture, yeah? We have picture, the windows is loading. If I remember, was that uh, lines on the screen, yeah? Let's see now. Perfect, a perfect picture. You can see? It's a perfect picture. Probably you see dust on the... Yeah? But the picture is perfect. So that was the issue. But one more time, one more time, this was a lock. So actually I found that chip. I think it was kind of luck because uh, I started resolving the memory. If I remember, I forgot. Two or three weeks ago, if I remember, I started resolving the, the, the memory chips. And yeah, I, I made that mistake. You know, listen to me, that was a mistake. Soldering three chips at, at one time without testing. So that's the reason why I bought three chips. Because how, ca how can you know you solder three chips? And true, I took a chip out by, by choosing one, not knowing. And behind of that chip, I found a bubble of, uh, of liquid metal. But... On the same way, you know, that bubble can be there, can be not touching anything, it can be another bubble under another memory chip. That's the reason why I bought three. But it's working fine. Hopefully the customer is happy. This is even uh, a nice warm. It's, 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 it's even over my dodginess level to leave a board like that. It's all the board is messed up only with Rossi. Look, it looks, looks so bad, but I can't clean it. That's the catch. You remember on the beginning, actually, the petrol and Rossi was making miracles and bringing the laptop to life? So if I clean out the risk of having a dead laptop instead of a good one because now it's good now it's it, even it's, it's it loaded the, the the nvidia graphic is boosting the frequency the voltage so it's working fine obviously has to be tested under the pressure you know just probably run some benchmarks but the fault was clear and i think i have the memory chip here it doesn't have fans, but it's not very hot. So I still have two more chips. I have GDDR5, yeah? That's the one. I still have two more. That was the chip. And uh, instead of buying a uh, re-bowling stencil, and, uh, I just prefer to order the chips. Because I never found before, I never been in a situation to replace a memory chip. Probably the people they fix uh, graphic cards, maybe they are doing this like usual. Yeah, it is pretty warm. It looks like it's working. So what I will do now. Because I have to edit. I have the first video and I have this video and I have to edit them to stick them together or not. Or should I upload two videos? It will be more easy. Ah, wow, well, I will edit them. I have the DaVinci Resolve. It will take me probably like half an hour. I'm happy. I didn't expect. Look, I didn't even expect to be to solder that chip like good from the first, because you know you have a lot of solder balls there, and uh, you know it's when you have a flat surface, you come with the chip on a flat surface, whatever you put the chip it will stay there, yeah. But when you have balls on the board, and you have balls on the chip, the chip 
it will always slide anywhere but not on the top of the ball the ball from the board yeah so it, it, it was quite tricky quite tricky especially when you have chips big chips with uh, a lot of solder balls behind okay I'm happy so I'll stop this video now obviously the laptop is working doesn't have fans but it's okay I will put back every pad because it has to be pads on the on the memories has to be made uh, nicely as is a customer job and uh, you know if he's paying some money we have to give some warranty and to give some warranty we have to be sure this will not come back okay so I'll stop now thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one bye